Hello and welcome to DTWG the prep welcome. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be looking at uh, math and exponents. Okay, on math, we're going to be looking at exponents. So if this is the first time on this channel, if it's your first time on this channel, please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up, and also share this video with your friends, family, and loved ones trying to sit for their GED exam. Okay, and uh, please do check our website, which is um, dtwgdprep.com for summary notes, study guides, free practice questions, your GED math formula sheets, okay, and many more things that would help you, okay? You can also join our Facebook group. We're over 22,000 members in the community to support you any on any questions as regards the GED in your country or even in the, in your states, be it Arizona, Arizona, California, or New York state, okay? And uh, I'll leave all the links in the video description box of this video. Also, if you need one-on-one -on -one tutoring, be it math, science, social studies, or RLA, you can also contact me. I'll leave my email in the video description box of this video. Okay, so let us get on to our video now. So we're looking at exponents, okay? And um, these are some questions that you can see in your GED math exam. So I'm going to be explaining everything about exponents through this particular practice um, practice um, questions, okay? So here, the first question says 4 raised to the power 1. You know, exponent is all about, instead of repeating, uh, you want to do something like 4 times 4 times 4, maybe into 4 times. Instead of doing writing it this way, you do 4 raised to the power 4. Okay, so this is the power, that's the exponent, 4 raised to power of 4, that's 4 times 4 in 4 places, that's, you get my point, okay, so 4 is the power, why the number 4 is your base, okay, so here, in exponents, when you have 4 raised to power 1, it means it's just 4, alright, so just 4 raised to the power of 1, it's 4, so your answer here is 4. All right, now don't worry, you'll see more examples. Let me quickly go here to number three. So here you can say this is three raised to the power two. So it means it is three times three. That's three in two places. And that will give us what? What is three times three? That would give us nine. So our solution to this is nine. All right, now look at this question. Another thing you have to know is any number raised to the power of zero gives us one, be it 1000 raised to power zero the answer is one it's a mathem mathematical um, standard okay be it 10 million you get raised to power zero it's one any number raised to the power of zero is one and any number raised to the power of one is that number okay so when you have 10 raised to power one it is what 10 all right um I know you will love, uh, you know, more practice questions, okay? I'm actually um, doing a video course, okay? So, and after each video, you will get practice questions, all right? It's on the website. I'm not done yet with it, but when I'm done, that's why it's good you're subscribed. When I'm done, I would post it and, you know, um, direct you to where you can get the course, okay? It's going to be on the website, all right? So, here, number four says, negative two, you can see this is in parentheses. Negative two, that is everything in this parentheses raised to power five. So it means we're gonna have negative two times negative two times negative two times negative two times negative two, five places, okay? Now, you know, there's a lot of negatives here. So how do you know your answer quickly? All right, we can start doing um, negative times negative, you know, we get positive, positive times negative, you know, we have done uh, operations with integers, you know, negative and positive numbers, how to multiply, divide, add, and subtract. Please, if you haven't watched that video, you can please do watch it, okay? And, um, you know, that's why I'm trying to do the course where everything is arranged, you know, you don't, you don't have to know, uh, start 
going looking for the videos and all that is all curated for you okay so if you don't want to st stress yourself with doing all the multiplications of the sign all right now once you have something like this is a negative two in the parenthesis you look at the power is the power is this a, an odd number or an even number five is an odd number okay so when you have an odd number your answer will always like in a in not a negative number raised to an odd number your answer would the sign your answer will take will always be a negative okay we're going to test this together so here we have negative let's just do a negative two times a negative two that'll give us a positive four a positive four times this negative two that will give us a negative eight a negative eight times this negative two it's going to give us what a positive 16 and a positive 16 times negative two that would give us finally a negative 32 do you see that now here you can see two is an is a what even number so a negative four in parentheses raised to the power of two is negative four times negative four when you multiply this a negative four times a negative four that would give us what a positive 16. do you see that okay so always try to check if you don't want to stress yourself you know multiplying out and getting confused okay just multiply the numbers when you multiply the numbers write the answer and when this power is an odd number just put the negative here or better still if you're confused by that you can just just the way we did this multiply that way and you will still get this okay now number six look at this you have a negative power you can see this power here the powers we have been dealing with the exponents we have been dealing with they are all positive but now when you have a negative you have three raised to the power of negative three it is you know this is different from three raised to the power of positive three there are two different things now in math when you have an exponent okay that is a negative power what you do you have what a fraction it becomes this becomes one over three raised to power three okay you invert this all right so this would now give us one over three times three times three and what would that give us that's one over three times three is nine and nine times three is 27 so it gives us one over 27 okay so this is our answer for this one over 27 because it's a negative power now look at this again this says in parentheses negative 2 raised to the power of a negative again so you have negative 2 raised to the power of a negative again so the first thing you do is you invert okay you do a fraction because this is a negative power so to be 1 over in parentheses don't leave out the parentheses don't cancel out this negative here okay because you know students I teach do make this error they cancel out the negative here because you know they are cancelling out this negative when they invert you leave it the same so it's one uh, one over in parentheses negative two raised to the power of two okay so it is only the negative here that changes to a positive all right but the parentheses the negative here remains all right so here we have one over then you resolve this out negative two raised to the power two is what negative two times negative two and that would give us one over in a positive four four because negative two times negative two is a positive four so our final answer is one over four okay let's do this okay so this is a negative three in parentheses raised to the power of negative three so it would be one over in parentheses negative three raised to the power three so that will give us one over negative three times negative three times negative three and what would that give us to give us one over a negative 27 which is the same as a negative one over 27 do you see that <clears throat>
Now look at this. This is a 10 raised to the power of negative 3. So that's the 10 raised to the power of negative 3. So it will be, give us 1 over 10 raised to the power of 3. So we have 1 over 10 times 10 times 10. And that will give us 1 over 1,000. Okay? Here, this is quite easy. We have 2 raised to the power of 3. I'm just trying to reinforce your memory back to number 1. So 2 raised to the power of 3 is what? 2 times 2 times 2. And that would give us what? 2 times 2 is 4. And 4 times 2 is 8. So answer here is 8. Do you see that? Good. Now, let's quickly treat this. This is a bit advanced, but don't worry. We'll get them together. Okay, so here this is a negative 7 raised to the power 1, which is still negative 7, right? Because this is 1. Anything raised to the power 1 is still, is still the, the value. Okay, times this multiplication. This is a negative 3 raised to the power 3. So let us resolve this. So negative 3 raised to the power 3 is a negative 3 times a negative 3 times a negative 3, right? So this will give us a negative 7 times uh, negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. Positive 9 times a negative 3 will give us a negative 27. And when we multiply this, what do we have? We are going to have a positive 189. Okay, so here, this is a negative 8 raised to the power 1. Still, it's going to be negative 8 plus, this is a negative 1 raised to the power 2. Okay, this now, a common mistake students do make is to just, uh, you know, make it 1. Are you, uh, or because it's 1 raised to the power 2, they add, they add, they do 1 plus 1, which gives 2. No, this is plus, in, this will be plus, you put a parenthesis, negative 1 raised to the power 2 is a negative 1 times a negative 1. Okay, another mistake uh, st uh, some st uh, students do make is to do a negative 8 plus a negative 1. No, you have to first multiply because it says raised to the power 2. So you multiply this in two places. So a negative one, that's why you have to be uh, conscious of your signs. So a negative one times a negative one will give us a positive one. Are you with me? And when you open up this parenthesis, positive times positive gives us what? A positive one. So we have negative eight positive one. Remember? This way it takes us to addition and subtraction of your integers, okay, sign numbers, okay? So you can see everything is related, all right? You can see as you, we have been um, gradually advancing from integers to exponents. Then after exponents, we go to um, your square roots and your cube roots, and you see that everything has, it's, everything has been, Everything is blending because it's algebra, so it's all blending as we go deeper into it. So it's good you know your basics in algebra before you get into, you know, algebraic simplification and evaluation. So here we have a negative 8 plus 1. Remember, in our rule, in addition and subtraction of sign numbers or integers, a negative 8 plus plus 1, we do what is subtraction. So we do subtraction, 8 minus 1 gives us 7. And what would this, what sign would the answer take? It would take the sign of the bigger number, which is negative. So our final answer here is a negative 7. Do you see that? Okay. So let us look, let us work on number 3. Let me clear this quickly. Okay, now uh, we have 9 square minus in parentheses negative 2 raised to the power 1. 9 square is 81. Now, this is negative 2 raised to 1, which is the same as what negative 2. 
So we just open up the parentheses by multiplying these signs. Negative times negative is a positive. So that's 81 plus 2. And what would that give us? That would give us what? 83. That's our answer. Now for number 4, let's take number 4 here. It says 7 squared times negative 4 raised to the power 1. Okay, so what is 7 squared? That's 49 times negative 4 raised to the power 1 is still negative 4. Okay, so 49 times a negative 4, that would give us what? A negative 196. Now, look at number 5 here. Let's go here. It says a negative 2 raised to the power 5 times a negative 1 raised to the power 83. Now, what is this? Let us quickly resolve this. I think we've done this here. If we don't want to, you know, let me still do it. So, a negative 2 raised to the power 5, we have negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Okay? And that would give us uh, negative 2 times 2, negative 2, that's a positive 4, positive 4 times a negative 2, that will give us a negative 8. And a negative 8 times a negative 2, that will give us a negative 16, negative, uh, positive 16, I mean. And a positive 16 times a negative 2, that will give us what? A negative 32 times. Now, this is where this, um, you know, using the, the method I did here, the trick I did. When you have a number raised to a negative power, you know, um, raised to an odd power your answer will always be negative, okay? This is a negative 1, and the power here, 83, is an odd number, just like what I explained here. Since it's an odd number, we have a negative here. Instead of trying to find out if our answer will take positive or negative by multiplying negative 1 83 times, you don't need to go that route, all right? This is an odd number. Your answer will be a negative 1. Okay, when you try to multiply 83 times, uh, negative 1 by 83 times, you're going to get what? A negative 1 because this power here is odd. Okay, so we now finally have negative 32 times negative 1 and that will give us a positive 32. Now, our final one, which is number 6, it says 100 square divided by a negative 1 raised to the power 48. Okay, 100 square is, our uh, answer is 0, 0. You know, you just add uh, two more zeros. Okay, so divided by a negative 1 raised to the power 48. Now, 48 is an even number. So it means when we multiply negative 1 in 48 times, we should have a positive 1. Okay, as you see, for even number, our answer, whichever, whichever, if, if, even if this is negative 4 raised to the power 48, okay, you know, you multiply the 4 in 48 times, which will give, you, give us over a million and something number, okay, but the sign, I'm looking at the sign now, what would the sign be, okay, since the power is an even number, the sign will always be positive. If the power is an odd number like this, the sign will be what? Negative. The sign of the final answer will be negative. So here, since this is an even number, the sign is positive. So 10,000 divided by one positive 1 will give us a positive 10,000. So that's our final answer. Wow. Thank you for staying to the end of this video. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I hope this has explained exponents, everything about exponents in the GED exam, okay? I'm going to be working on several practice questions that you can do under this topic. All right, thank you for staying to the end of this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this channel. You want summary notes, study guys, check our website. You want to join our Facebook group, check the link in the video description box to get the link to the group and every other thing you want. One-on-one -on -one tutoring for math, science, social studies or RNA, you can also contact me. All right, so thank you. And also don't forget, finally, that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ, for he is the way, he is the truth, he is the life.
is the one who's going to give us peace. Is the one who's going to give us eternal life. Okay, and it's going to give us that life here on earth, you know, that is full of joy and hope and peace, especially. Okay, so please do give, okay, your life to Christ and he would make a way for you. All right, thank you and see you in our next video.